Good morning, everyone. This is Marissa, the Filipino wife in America. Today, we are going to talk about the topic on fiancé visa and spousal visa. Some petitioners are usually confused between the two, so spousal and fiancé. Marriages between the Filipino women and American men have always been the trend right now. So I got a lot of messages in my Facebook page asking me about fiancé and spousal. Actually, they are not specific about spousal and fiancé. They just asked me if it is fine to get married in the Philippines. Then they right away bring the girl here. It is very impossible. Except if the petition is already done a few months before and then after approval, you go to the Philippines, then get married. That's another story. But if you have just met online, then you are so in love and decide right away to get married because you want to bring back your Filipino woman right away here in the U.S. That is very impossible. Let's talk about fiancé and spousal, which is faster. According to my experience, because prior to my interview, I was able to talk to a woman who was petitioned as spousal visa. That lady told me that she waited for two years until that time when my interview came. It was also her interview a day after. So we were able to talk because she asked me how many months did the process take and she was wondering why was it so fast for me and for her it took two years and more than two years I guess. Let's start with fiancé visa. Fiancé means K-1. So when you go to the USCIS website, codes are used for every visa you want to look for. Fiancé visa belongs to K-1. With K-1, you have K-2. K-2 for all the kids. Because if you have kids or a kid, all those belong to K-2. K-1 now is the fiancé visa. According to the USCIS website, Fiancé visa process starts in three months. If you are lucky, right away, you can have the answer after three months, whether you are approved or disapproved. Or you need an RFE. RFE stands for Request for Evidence. So, in other words, you need to provide more proofs about your petition. So, fiancé visa now... When it comes to the processing time, fiancé visa is faster than spousal visa. Why is that? In fiancé visa, you are not married yet. Both of you are single. In other words, the fiancé has no legal impediments in the Philippines as well as the petitioner doesn't have any legal impediments. For example, previous marriage which is not yet annulled or divorced. For that matter. What is important is the fiancé in the Philippines should be single in status before the petition starts because I have questions as well that while the annulment is on process, the petition starts. You cannot. No, definitely not. You cannot start the process of the fiancé visa if your annulment is also still on process. You have to wait for the annulment decision. You have to wait for the annulment authentication from the Philippine Statistics Authority telling that you are annulled and that you are single before the petition starts. That is very clear. No annulment, no petition. You are just wasting money if you are doing it, if you are not going to listen. Why is it faster? Because you are just going to petition your fiancé so that she will be or he will be approved to go to the U.S. After approval, that's when the fiancé travels to the U.S. Remember that. Now, when it comes to spousal visa by the term spouse, you are married. The marriage should be in the Philippines if the wife is a Filipino woman and resides in the Philippines. So the petition starts in the Philippines. Yes. Now, why does it take time? Now, if fiancé 
starts within three months, the spousal visa is longer. Why? Because what is included in the process is the adjustment of status. That is another form. That, that is another process. Because since you are married, of course, the Filipino woman is your spouse, not anymore your fiancé. So therefore, the application is not K-1 anymore, but spousal visa. What is included in spousal visa? When it is approved, the green card is already ready. That is the difference. I have a friend who was petitioned as a spouse. So they had a spousal visa. When she came over here, she already had the green card. That means if you have the green card, you are ready to work. So there's no more uh, adjustment of status because in spousal visa, adjustment of status is already filed and is already processed. That made it longer. That means when your spouse comes over to the U.S., the green card is ready and the spouse is ready to work. The spouse can practice driving and eventually the spouse can have the driver's license because the spouse has already the green card. So fiancé visa, single, spousal visa is married. That's the difference. So which is faster? K-1 visa is faster than spousal visa. Now, if you want to ask me which one is better, I will go for fiancé visa. If you still have clarifications, please feel free to write your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Don't close the video yet if you haven't subscribed to my channel. See you on my next video. Bye!